All right. Welcome to Professional Scrum with Jira. I am Professional Scrum Trainer Ryan Ripley. This gentleman over here is Professional Scrum Trainer Todd Miller. We are both trainers with Scrum.org. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the sprint review and how to perform a professional sprint review with Jira. But first, we want to talk about uh, Atlassian University. If you'd like to learn more about how to use Jira, um, Jira software after this, Head over to Atlassian University at university.atlassian.com. There you'll find tons of self-paced training resources to help you become an expert at Jira Software. Really great site. We hope you check it out. Todd, let's hop into this. We've got a lot to talk about with the Sprint Review. Let's do it. All right, the Sprint Review, often relegated to a mere demo, but it is so much more than that, right? We take a look at the Sprint. How did things go from a, a product perspective during the Sprint? We take a look at our product backlog. You know, what is the current state of the product backlog? What is the forecast? What is the roadmap? What are what are we seeing as far as the, the future vision of the product within our product backlog? We take a look at the current increment, which is our product, right? What did we deliver this sprint? What have we delivered previous sprints? How is all that coming together? How is, how is it being used in the marketplace? Are customers pleased? Are users happy? Are stakeholders excited about the work? We take all that information, we mix in current business conditions. What does the budget for the product work look like? What's the revenue look like? What's the, what are those future forecasts? And so as you can see, this is a collaborative event. Uh, time boxed at four hours for a one month sprint. The Scrum team, along with stakeholders, users, customers, we all come together, we take all this information, we collaborate on it, we review, discover, and rearrange. And at the end of it, we have an updated product backlog so that we are going into the next sprint fully aligned uh, with what the market and the customers and the stakeholders believe is needed so that we're always working on the next most important thing in our sprint. All right, Todd's going to take a look at how you conduct pieces of the sprint review using Jira. Yeah, there's a lot of really great and valuable information that we can get and share in the sprint review. Uh, I am in this backlog view right here. I click on backlog and I'm in this backlog view. If I scroll out a little bit, uh, one of the things that you mentioned, Ryan, that we can take a look at is the sprint in and of itself, right? And so you see here, you know, there's a lot of different ways to add and look at the sprint goal, your retro improvements. We have them as product backlog items in our sprint. So we could talk about how this sprint goal, attendees of Scrum training, understand the accountabilities. We finished it, Ryan, success. We've made our commitment, the sprint goal. That was our commitment for the sprint, the sprint goal that's in the sprint backlog. <clears throat> There's three product backlog items that are related to it. You can see that you know, we wanna talk about the accountability developer, the accountability product owner and Scrum master. Um, there was one product backlog item that we didn't get finished. Perhaps we want to talk about why, right? Um, maybe these were a little bit more work than what we suspected. That's what complex works all about. Another thing that we can do that I think is pretty cool is we can show this Epic panel. We can turn this Epic panel on. And if we're using Epics, if we're using levels of decomposition, like we like to call them, Ryan, uh, we could talk a little bit about this Epic and progress towards this Epic. It's got a, a little indicator of meter here. You can see these three, BI, three PBIs, product backlog items, all together um, equal that Epic. Uh, I'm gonna shrink this down too so we can uh, start zeroing in on the product backlog because this is a great point of inspection here. Next, maybe if I'm a product owner, I wanna talk about what's next, right? And so we have started this artifacts epic. That's what I think as a product owner, the most valuable thing to do next is, I might ask that question, receive some feedback from the stakeholders. Maybe they feel strongly that the events should be next. And the ability for us to come in here and create new product backlog items, rearrange them in real time, maybe even perhaps during the sprint review, might be a great way uh, to engage with your stakeholders and um, really adapt the product backlog. What do you think about that, Ryan? Yeah, I think it's a really powerful way to engage with your stakeholders, just as we discussed during our, our discussion of professional Scrum. It's really important to show that just the, 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 the power of collaboration that comes forward in the way that uh, you know your demonstration on the JIRA side and in our theoretical side, and that's really the whole point uh, of this event. And, and from a professional Scrum perspective, it is a powerful collaborative event between the Scrum teams, uh, between, between the Scrum team and the stakeholders, right? And so use this tool, use, use Jira in order to actually facilitate that awesome collaboration. Mm -hmm. And also be sure to head on over to Atlassian University, university.atlassian.com. Make sure you check out all the videos there for even more learnings about professional Scrum and how to use Jira software. 
We hope you found this useful. For Todd Miller, I'm Ryan Ripley. Go forward, do some professional scrum with Jira. We'll see you next time.